Well, here we are at the Devil's Canyon, and I don't get any closer to the edge because I am terrified of heights. Now, at one point, this canyon didn't exist. The bottom of the canyon was deep underground, but as rivers have passed through, it's hard to imagine now, but yes, rivers passed through, they eroded away the layers of sedimentary rock and carved a canyon which is getting deeper, and even today gets deeper and deeper every time it rains. But before, this was a flat area. Now before it was a canyon, it was a flat area. It was just a plain. It would have been level. You could have walked all clear off to the horizon without doing any climbing. But before that, the this was under the ocean, and sediment flowed in, and it formed layer upon layer. Now let's zoom in on some of these layers here. Now you can sort of see here, sorry about the light, but I'm not sticking around for better light. Each different color band represents different sediments that were laid down at different times. The different colors come from the different minerals. Now, the law of superposition says you cannot put something on top of something unless that first thing was there first. So. Whatever's on top was put there after the stuff that's beneath it. And you can use this when you're looking for fossils. As you go down, you go further back in time. The further down you go, the farther back in time. The further up you go, the more recent in time. If you are looking for a particular type of fossil, and you're finding stuff that's too early, you may want to look further up the slope. And if you're finding stuff that's too late, that would have existed after the fossil you're looking for, you want to go further down the slope. And that's that.